Hello YouTube, uh, ink friends, pen friends, uh, any kind of friend, as long as you're a friend. Uh, I have a new video. This one is, I thought it would be kind of cool. I don't know about you, but I grew up in the era of, uh, I don't know if anyone remembers the Sears catalog, the Sears Christmas catalog. Uh, growing up, that was something really uh, something that I looked forward to, uh, just browsing the Sears Christmas catalog. And so I received a couple of catalogs, uh, pen catalogs, obviously. And uh, this particular catalog is from Gold Spot Pens. I have no affiliation with them. Uh, they, they didn't ask me to do a video. I just saw the catalog and thought, you know what? It would be kind of cool to just kind of flip through. Maybe, I mean, maybe you've never seen the Gold Spot catalog, or maybe you didn't even know they had a catalog. Uh, well, they do. And this particular catalog caught my attention. They they really upped their game, at least in, in my opinion. Uh, so flipping through this, uh, you'll see there's a little letter here from, from the owner. And um, there's some things that I've noticed that I hadn't seen in a catalog before. Um, there's little tidbits here and there, you know, here's some Pelican pens and stuff like that. But, uh, like, like this here, how to find the right nib for you. And then it goes into, you know, different types of nibs. I thought that was really cool. Um, obviously they're trying that they are trying to sell pens. So there you go. Here we've got 10 best gold nib fountain pens. And, you know, here we go. Got several pens in there. Um, here we go so with some Pilot pens. And Pilot Custom 74. Pen I don't have but would like to have in the future. Not, not this year. But uh, here's one I hadn't seen before, Pilot Explorer. Uh, I don't think I've seen any reviews on it either. Faber-Castell. Uh, it's a brand. It, it, I have a couple of, of their pens. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really into their pens, though, but I do have a couple. And look at this. A Guide to Sailor 1911 Fountain Pens. So... You know, picking standard versus large, choosing nib size, um, is the 21K upgrade worth it? I, to, I mean, I appreciate that kind of our article in the middle of this catalog. Here we go with platinum pens. And here we go. Top five pens or top five fountain pens for beginners. And they have the Pilot Metropolitan. Lamy Safari, Kaweco Par Perkeo, Pilot Kakuno, Faber Castell Grip, and here we go. Demonstrator pens, kind of an interesting look there. The nice photography. Cross pens, and. Got different, ooh, the Star Wars stuff. You know, uh, just a comment. Uh, I I really like Star Wars pins, um, but I probably would never buy this on my own. <laughs> um, here we go. An interview with Brian Gray of Edison Pen Company. That's a nice, nice addition there. Aurora pens. The Aurora 88. Aurora Optima, Aurora Ypsilon, uh, I've had one, I sent it back, uh, long story, uh, I might go into that someday, uh, Visconti, Rembrandt, the Van Gogh, Mirage, uh, I hadn't heard too much about the Mirage, it looks interesting, um, the Diplomats, the Arrow, the Traveler, I don't know about that one. Uh, that one doesn't really catch my eye, but the arrow does. And then we got Parkers. Those look in more interesting than what I've seen 
from them. Waterman, Waterman Hemisphere. Uh, what we got here? Quaco Classic Sport, the Lily Put. I had a Lily Put. I gave it away. I, it's a very good pen. Writes every time, all the time. Uh, cartridge, cartridge filler. What I didn't like was the amount of times you had to uh, turn the cap to to uncap it, and then you had to thread it back on to make it a usable pen. It was just not not fun, and that's why I gave it away. Um, there's some Noodlers pens. Flex nibs. Okay. Flex nibs here. That's, that's some nice writing there. Laban pens or Laban. I don't know. Did I say it right? Laban? I think that's how you say it. No, I don't know too much about Laban pens. And just looking at this page, probably the ones that catch my eye are going to be this Grecian pen and this 325. That catches my eye too. Now, Schaefer Pop pens. Uh, I think by now you should have seen the Darth, or I'm sorry, the the Death Star pen uh, overview. And here we go. Picking ink like a pro. Interesting. Goes into different properties uh, of of inks like shading, sheen, shimmer. Uh, that I mean, if you're you're new to fountain pens, this is good information right here. Uh, then just going into inks, kind of like how they did just like a swab, swab of inks there, different brands, more inks, uh, Hiroshizuku, Pelican Edelstein, Sailor Gentle Inks, Noodler's Inks, Colorverse Inks, and I cannot read what that says. Starter Fountain Pens, I think is what it says. Uh, it's hard to read, at least through here. I think that's what it says. So there, there we go. Starter fountain pens. An interview with Penboy Roy. That's another interesting thing there. Interesting read. Conklin Durgraf. Um, I have one. Uh, I haven't reviewed it. I don't think. Not yet. Conklin, uh, the, at least the Crescent Filler. I had one. I returned it. Um, didn't work out very well for me. Uh, Monte Verde and Vincia. I have the Stealth. That one, I still have it. I got it when it first came out, and I still have it. It's a good pen. Um, gift sets, Monza. Uh, stick with the Jinhao 992s. Same pen. Uh, if you've, uh, if you've, uh, if you know anything about Jin House, then you know about the Monza, and uh, it's the Monza is probably an overpriced Jin Hao 992. I don't have a Monza. I do have 992s. They're good pens for what they are, but I probably won't buy a Monza. Penator. That this is a relatively. I don't know if they're a new brand or they're a resurging brand. I haven't researched too much on them. the The thing that interests me about their pens is that filler, the um, kind of kind of a snorkel type filler for cartridges or cartridge converters. And I don't see it in here. I think it was in a different catalog, but uh, that that seems kind of interesting. Uh, but uh, I might go into that later. Karen Dosh. Uh, I, I don't like the look of their pens. Uh, this uh, Just something about it. I don't know what it is. Just does not do it for me on that particular, this particular pen. This, mm, maybe. I'm not sure. Kind of reminds me of Parker. Uh, again. Not sure, haven't formed an opinion on this Ecuador, I guess it's what it's called. 
Notebooks, Clairefontaine, Rhodia, Rhodia, Leuchterm. Got a few of those, uh, and the Rhodia and the Clairefontaine. Now, how to keep a work journal worthy of a promotion. Uh, that's probably an interesting read. I haven't read it yet, but that's uh, and that's cool to include in your catalog here. Uh, journaling. So I guess these are going to be pens or journal notebooks. And Retro 51. There's one I, I really, I'd like to get that. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's the one with all the math stuff on it. Um, the other one that kind of interests me, I don't like the KISS ones, but... Uh, if I had to pick one from there, it'd probably be this one. I forgot what that one's called. The rescue one, version, speakeasy. And then, Carrie Yeager. Hey, I didn't see this. Carrie Yeager, the, uh, He's he's uh, active on Instagram and on forums. Uh, he's the originator of Fountain Pen Day, and I believe he's a representative with uh, uh, what's that distributor? I can't remember the distributor name. I think Luxury Brands, possibly. Um, he is a representative for them, but I got to go back and read this. But good to see you in the catalog, Carrie. And then. Pen shows. Oh, a listing of pen shows. That is cool. That is cool for a catalog. That. So if you didn't know when the pen shows or where the pen shows are, there you go. Different pen shows in the U.S. I don't see any European pen shows listed here. Okay, and then this is more advertising for their, their company. Gold Spot exclusives. Oh, and then the Pelican Stone Garden. I really like that material. Uh, I have a pen that actually looks very similar. It's a Conklin, uh, not the Duragraph. I can't remember uh, what it's called, but it, the material looks very similar. But there you go. Gold Spot pens. Once again, they, they didn't pay me for this. Uh, I have no affiliation. I have purchased a few pens from them in the past. That's why I got the catalog. I registered uh, to get their catalog. You should, If you want your own catalog, you should go to their uh, website, and I'm pretty sure there's a way to register for it. Um, I'll, I'll look for the link, and I'll post it in the description. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, let me know what you think of the video. I might do another catalog. Uh, once again, no affiliation with Goldspot. Thanks.